Hey guys, Adam Justice from ConnectSense here, and today we're gonna to talk about homes, rooms, and zones in HomeKit. It may seem like setting up homes, rooms, and zones in HomeKit is overkill, and digitally organizing your smart home is unnecessary, but doing this in HomeKit gives you access to a ton of powerful features and a whole new set of Siri commands, allowing you to control multiple devices at once. Now let's talk about homes. Now, most people are only gonna have one home, but if you do have a vacation home or something else, there is support in HomeKit to have multiple homes. To access the Homes menu, just click on Home in the ConnectSense app. From there, you can see I have two homes set up. I have my primary home, which I call the Hall of Justice, and a second home, which I use for demos and things around the office. A really important thing to know is that if you have multiple homes, only the home that you have set as the primary home is what is used for Siri voice commands. Now let's talk about rooms. You're gonna to wanna to create rooms for any place in your house where you have HomeKit devices. You can access rooms under the Home menu in the ConnectSense app. Here you can see all the rooms I have set up for my home. To add a new room, you just click on the plus here and you can add a name for your room. Then here you can select what devices you want to go into that room and click Save. Next, let's talk about zones. Think of zones as groups of rooms within your home. Things like an upstairs and a downstairs or maybe a basement or any other way you want to subdivide the rooms in your home. Zones can be accessed from the Home section of the ConnectSense app. Click on Zones, and here you can see I've set up upstairs and downstairs in my home. If we want to add a new zone, we just click on the plus, give it a name, and then select which rooms we want to belong to that zone. And click Save. So now that we've set up rooms and zones, I'm gonna show you how to use the Siri commands associated with these features. Hey Siri, turn on the lights in the master bedroom. Okay, the lights are turned on. Thanks Siri. In addition, you can also command a whole zone. Hey Siri, turn off all the devices upstairs. Okay, they are turned off. You can also ask Siri questions based on these features. Hey Siri, did I leave any lights on upstairs? Only one light is turned off, the rest are turned on. Now that we've learned about the power of rooms and zones, head into your favorite HomeKit app and set up the rooms and zones for your home. Hit me up in the comments also. I'm interested to learn what's something you want to automate in your home that you haven't pulled the trigger on yet. Me personally, I'd really like some automated blinds. Uh, seems like a really cool and powerful thing to have, but still a little bit pricey. We're going to be looking at some of the smart home tech that I have in my home in future episodes, and maybe eventually we'll even see some automated blinds in there. Thanks for watching.